So in this video, I'll be solving the first message of the puzzle cryptos. Here we have the encrypted message displayed. Um, it is precisely 63 characters long. And the cipher that uh, Sanborn used was is called Viganary. And he uses uh, two keywords, which in this case is palimpsest and cryptos and so the first steps to solve to decrypt this message you have to um, create a set of grid of, of, of letters and so the first word the first uh, step is to uh, create a default alphabet in which case we use the keyword cryptos and then following it is the alphabet with the remaining letters uh, so, for example, we have cryptos, and then A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, and then K will be in the next letter. But since K is used in the word cryptos, you simply skip it. And then the next step is uh, to set uh, the word palimpsest, which is the second keyword, in this manner. And following each letter of the word palimpsest is the as the alphabet with the same order as the default alphabet. So in this case you have P and then since P is here in the default uh, uh, alphabet you have the following letters T, T, O, S, T, O, S and then uh, you do the same thing with uh, the rest of the letters in palimpsest. Um, so the next step is basically you so in this case uh, just for the purpose of using as an example we're gonna use only the first 15 letters of this um, of this message so it's until here and then uh, so the first step is to take the letter which is in this in this case is E and this is the first letter you look uh, you find the letter E in the first row. So you go to the first row, find the letter E, and then you go up to the default uh, alphabet and you find the letter, the corresponding letter, which, which in this case is B. So you write down B. Okay. Now letter M. In the second row, right it's in the it's the second letter so you go to the second row find m right go up to the default uh alphabet and find letter e so you write down e okay and then you do this um with all the letters so for so let's continue u in the third row u go to letter t write down t f over here, I like W, and so if you continue, you will have the following result. So, um. So if you notice, you have 10 words here. So uh, 10 letters, I'm sorry. And palimpsest, right? So if you go to the 10th letter and then the 11th, 11th letter, you're gonna have to go back to the first row of the alphabet. So in this case, for example, let me just show you A is gonna be in the first row, A, T. And here we have T again. And so, if you repeat this process for uh, all letters in the first message, you're gonna have the result. The resulting text, the decrypted text, is gonna be between. So we have between here, shuttle, and then the following word is shading. So between shuttle, shading, and the absence of light lies the nuance of occlusion. And so this uh, cipher is called Viganary cipher, and the first and the second messages use this kind of cipher. 
The third, however, uses another uh, encryption process called route transposition, and then it also uses keyed uh, col col columnar transposition. And uh, this uh, encryption method is a little bit hard to explain. That's why I chose the, the Viganary method, the Viganary uh, cipher to explain in this video. And but basically, it's this uh, uh, simply messing up with these letters and arranging them in different orders. And this is basically how uh, Sandbor ciphered the uh, encrypted the first and the second message.